All right, you guys, we are going to play a game where I'm going to put you in the Hollywood hot seat. So I'm going to ask you a series of questions. You need to kind of say the first thing that comes to mind as quickly as you can. Cool? OK, Perfect. got it. Ready? Favorite song to sing in the shower? Uh, Be Still My Soul by Libera. Be Your Everything, Boys Like Girls. Only Want to Dance With You, Kesha. Probably something by Miranda Lambert, but I don't um, know. Either Be Your Everything by Boys Like Girls or some One Direction song. Anything by One Direction, pretty much, I sing in the shower. 1D. Yes. yes. Direction <laughs> Infection. Right? Oh my gosh. You heard that one? Because I've heard that. I have. <laughs> Read the book or see the movie? Read the, Read book. the book. Read the book. Read the book. Yes, every see the time. Movie. Oh, like split half and half. Crazy. Singing covers or singing originals? Originals. Originals, originals for down. sure. Originals. 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 Celebrity crush. I think Tim Tebow's awesome. Uh, One Direction. All of them. <laughs> Berkeley Duffield. <laughs> Martin Johnson. I heard about that whole thing. <laughs> I heard about that. Um, Tim Devo all the way. I love him. First concert you ever attended? Ashley Simpson when I was 12. Jingle Ball 2008. Jingle Ball 2008. Oh, yeah. Mine must have been a Jingle Ball not 2008. It was way before that. But we, I had the Click 5. It was ends. Jingle Ball. We all, both of us. Jingle Ball 2005. The Veronica's, Frankie J, um, Lifehouse, Click 5. Nice. Good uh, first concert to go to. Somebody else, yeah. It was good. Uh, I think mine was Jingle Ball 2006. Seven or six, and it had like all these girl acts, Sacramento. and I was like, OMG, like Sacramento Jingle Ball, like JoJo, Natasha Bedingfield, the Pussycat Dolls, Danny Kane, and all these random girl acts, and I was like, I like this. Crunchy peanut butter or smooth peanut butter? Ooh. Peanut butter uh, gives me a stomach ache, so Ooh. I don't eat it. I like crunchy peanut butter on apples. It tastes like a caramel apple with nuts Ooh. on it. It's so good. Oh. To try that. Little known. Crunchy peanut butter with honey. Woo! <laughs> I like a specific brand of peanut butter, and that is the Skippy's peanut butter with honey. With the all-natural kind. Ooh. Is the honey in the peanut butter? Yeah, yeah it's oh. mixed in. It's really good. Favorite cover you've ever performed? Um, I like We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together. Okay. I like Payphone or I Won't Give Up. I Won't Give Up. I Won't Give Up or You and I. As Long As You Love Me, Justin Bieber. If I Were a Boy or You and I. <sighs> this is a big question. One Direction, Big Time Rush, or The Wanted? Oh. You have to choose one. Oh, big Time Rush all the way. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> big Time Rush, One Direction songs, but I still love Big Time Rush songs, but yeah. Wait, so what's the, wait, so. She picks the band of Big Time Rush, but One Direction Okay, music? okay, okay. I don't know. Um, I have to say Big Time Rush. Yes. I do Big Time Rush because I know they're really good role models, so I pick them. Okay, I, I, I'm going to go with Big Time she, Rush. She took it back. She took it back. I say um, <laughs> Boys Like Girls. Lisa, get out. <laughs> um, I say BTR. Woo! Okay. Rushers. We've got some rushers on our hands. Yes, we do. Um, what's been your biggest splurge? Well, I just bought a pair of silver Uggs that look like Ooh, like space boots. That's nice. like I don't really spend a lot of money on clothes. Like, that was the most expensive thing I ever bought. I got a pair of Nike Freeze. <laughs> My camera. Ooh. Oh yeah, I think I bought like a $200 camera, and that, well, that's the most I've ever spent on something. <laughs> Definitely something that had to do with our car, which is a minivan. Oh. That is a splurge. Oh, I, I forgot I bought a yacht the other day. Oh yeah, oh, no, yeah. Big no big deal, no big deal. Well, Kidding. I, okay, I just bought a guitar yesterday, so that's nice. not. And it's like my first time I've ever bought, and I love it so much. We'll go hang out in the yacht later. Is that totally. cool? Take it to my island. Yes. If you were invisible for one day, what would you do? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, no, let me Wait, but you need to be able to freeze time too, so you can like go around the world. Okay. And then you can like freeze time and then you'd have like years and years and you like find one direction in the middle of an interview and like put a mustache on their face or something. Okay. Oh. I would spend my entire day following uh, Catherine or Michael <laughs> around and like messing with them because they have the best reactions. I do that to Catherine anyway. That's like pretty much my life is making wow. Kevin freak out, so that would just make it 10 times better. <laughs> I would run through the streets and dance like a crazy psycho because I can't wait, none of us would run around. Wait, that's thinking? real life. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh my gosh, I just lost something. I would go in like, like a business meeting or something and then put on really loud like party music and dance and no one would see me, but they'd all be like, where is this music coming from? Oh, that would be so funny. Oh my gosh. Okay. I would dance in the street because I've always wanted to dance in the street, but obviously I'm not allowed to because I might die. But I would totally dance in the street. Oh, yeah, because being invisible dancing in the street is so much more safe because then the cars can't see no, you. No, no, no. I would go cheating so there was no way I could get caught. Oh, that's oh, brilliant. Oh, yeah! That's, that's, one. that's brilliant. A guilty pleasure TV show. Oh, I have too many. I know. House of Anubis oh, or Big Time House of Anubis, but it's not guilty. I just love it. <laughs> I love Food Network. It's so good. Any wedding show, say it's the dress, oh, four weddings, yeah. like, can't stop watching them. The Lion Games. 
Oh wait, or Heart of Dixie. It used to be the Secret Circle. Obsessed. It used to be the Secret Circle, but then they like but it's canceled, canceled it. right? Yeah. Oh, man. So now I, I just don't show. watch TV anymore. So why should people go and pick up Believe It, your amazing EP? Tell because it. Tell it, it girls. It is a great array of down tempo and up tempo and inspiring and uplifting, and it'll make you want to find the cure for cancer. So <laughs> how can you not buy it? Don't you feel guilty? <laughs> Yeah, I think everyone should go buy it, and it's really fun. And when you're on the way to school, you can just listen to it and get pumped. And then whoever bullies you, you can just say, believe it, and then just walk away. So you have to buy it. Um, or, it gives you wings just like Red Bull. Or if you're a magician and you're having a magic show, you could play Believe It and subconsciously brainwash people to believe your tricks. So there you go. Hey, we're Cimarelli. And you're watching hollywire.com.